In this video, we're going to link our MyMathLab MAT05X course with our Canvas course. So I'm going to click into this particular MAT055 course. I need to get the MyLabs link on the left-hand navigation, so I'm going to go to Settings. And under Navigation, I'm going to scroll down. I see the MyLab and Mastering. I'm going to drag it up anywhere you want to. Make sure you hit Save. And now it should show up on your left-hand navigation. So I'm going to click the My Lab and Mastering. And now it says I want to get started. So click the Get Started. And I'm going to go to Course ID. And the Course ID is for each particular course um, sent to you in an email. So I'm going to just paste that Course ID for the Math 055 class. I'm going to search, and I just double check that it says MAT055 Master Course, and then I click. <laughs> Apparently, Amantha and Sonrisa did not like what I was talking about, but they're outside now, so click Select, and it's going to indicate that this is a member course. I'm going to name it whatever makes most sense to you. And um, and then again, I need to make sure that this is today's date. If it's not today's date, then you're going to run into some problems. So just make sure whatever day you're doing this, that you use today's date. And then I always put these to the end of the year or the end of. So generally, I do December 31st or May 31st, the end of a, a term, if you will, complete term. And then I just create my course. And then in a few minutes or up to a couple hours, I'll get an email indicating that the course has been created. So I am done now. I can close this particular window or tab. And then I need to go back and refresh my Canvas page. And then I just wait until I get the email. So I've just gotten my email indicating that the course has been created. So I'm back in my Canvas course and then I go back to the My Lab and Mastering. And now I have the open rather than get started. And so I want to open this. And I am going to see that it is a course just like it was in the past. And as an instructor, you have the ability to go to Course Tools and then Assignment Manager. And these first assignments that are in this case called Algebraic Structures, they will be named based on whatever the actual module title is. These are the ones that we're going to want you to actually use. There are a whole bunch of other. These are just supplementary activities. Um, we don't encourage you to use those at all just the ones that are designated um, based on the title there. And then when you go to select, you can assign it or you can change the settings for your particular class or your particular student. You can also preview the questions, list the questions, or print out the entire um, assignment. So that is what um, you are going to do. I'm going to log out. Also back in um, Canvas, you will see a grade sync. So you want to go to grade sync settings, turn it to automatic grade sync, select all or individual items. And so I am going to just select the ones, and I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to wait till my um, to do it at each time, but you can do it all at once. And again, we're only doing those first ones that have the course title on there. And they will populate directly into the gradebook when it is shown. I can show you that in a different course that I've already done. So in the gradebook, I already did the syncing. And you'll see that the assignments are listed up there just as they would be in the past for students. So everything is automated now. You may have to sync grades once or twice. Um, but for the most part, it should be automated for you at this time.